Whoever takes the Supreme Court seat that Ruth Bader Ginsburg has left will decide on significant issues affecting most, if not all, Americans. Because the list of possible replacements that President Donald Trump has named have spoken about it, it's clear that a woman's right to choose whether or not to have an abortion will be on the docket in some form, even if that right is not ultimately overturned. It could nonetheless be further restricted by some states. However, if you only focus on the issue, the abortion issue, the pro-life issue, uh, without considering everything else that's happening, then you're losing sight of, of really just humanity in general. Eileen Torres is an attorney who also runs one of the largest charities in the city, Bronx Works. She and some staff members were today at a tribute to Justice Ginsburg, where Torres told us that the fallen justice leaves a long list of issues in her wake. The marginalized communities, you know, people of color, uh, the LGBTQ community, um, so that we're, we're there and we're represented and we're represented well. President Trump has said he intends to nominate a woman and has strongly suggested that Amy Coney Barrett or Barbara Lagoa top the list. Both those judges have expressed some conservative viewpoints on issues that are very much in the news now. Like civil rights, particularly for black lives, LGBTQ rights, especially involving whether or not businesses and employers can discriminate. On regulations involving the environment and climate change, they've also held conservative views. But attending this tribute to Ginsburg today in the Bronx were current judges who made one thing clear. And when you're on the bench, it's not about you. It's not about your thoughts and feelings. It's about the law, and it's about dealing with the facts in front of you. Possible Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett has prominently said the same thing. However, a progressive point of view on these issues, Ruth Bader Ginsburg formed not only when she was at the top of her class here at Columbia Law School, but also when she was a professor here. And now a current professor talks about how important clarity on these issues is going forward. The Supreme Court is always the place where the most difficult, vexing social issues end up. Professor Catherine Frank knew Justice Ginsburg and says the Chief Justice, John Roberts, will be careful. Not to have whoever a new member of the court is, whether it's someone that President Trump appoints or whether it's someone uh, a, a President Biden appoints, um, be someone who can take the court in a radically different direction overnight. James Ford, PIX11 News.